Havens Games Ghosty with Tales of Vespia. Just the three of us. Let's eliminate them. You lose. Ooh, that's nice. All right. Let's uh, heal everyone up. Everyone up. It won't open, but you yeah, we went in this way. I wonder if there's a way to get inside. Time to climb up here. Get used to it, cows fighting style. Uh, arts. Right. Can I go that way? No. We'll destroy them in no time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get in our way. This power will. Good, good, Ben Bennett, good, Bennett. Oh, what, what happens if we go through the other door? The other door locked. No, what's near? Oh, a couple of chests. Uh, oh, with the ghosts. Sorry for being so strong. This power. Hmm, magic. Uh, skills. I'll move take those out. Okay. Hopefully we we'll do a lot more damage now. That cow's not doing all that half damage and quarter damage. Don't hurt us now. I need to get stronger. I hope you can. At least strong enough yes. not to be a pain. Yeah, I do like that fact that Judy's here paddling people to death. <laughs> hey, Matt. We'll destroy them in no time. Amazing, Carol. <laughs> that bag's just amazing. My bag? Yeah, it's amazing, Carol. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. <laughs> you decided to come along for the ride too, eh? Let's get out of here quickly. You, you gotta be kidding me. This ship's evil spirits are surely at the bottom of the ship, plotting to make us all one of them. One of us. One of us. Just don't make up stories like that. No way that's for possible. Well, we'll just have to look for another way. Right on, let's go. We united with everyone. Rita, are you okay? What do you mean? Of course I'm okay. That's why I'm gonna get out of here right now. Ah, oh, but we worked so hard to get here. We should take our time and soak in the atmosphere. We can't take we our time here. I have the important mission of investigating the air situation. It's not like there's any other reason I'd want to leave here. <gasps> A strange face on the other side of the mirror. Yeah, I, no, it can't be. I feel kind of sorry for her. 
Come on. She Let's said she has no fears. For Rita's sake. Yes, that might be best. She says she has had no fears yet. What's she doing? Get scared shitless by some ghosts. <laughs> I just keep finished that one. You know. I'm yeah, I'm definitely sticking with Kelv now. Because I really want to uh, keep using him. Because there is a fighter at some point in the future. That involves a lot of stuff. It involves Kelv. Uh, how did they get up here? Uh, who cares? Leave it to me. What's the secret of your strength? I don't know. My pointy ears. Cool. I'll get those too. Uh, no. I said no power. Powers to wield that paddle. Yes. Giving them, giving people a good paddling. See how much better it is when we're all together. It's times like these that give you a sense for how important cooperation really is. N yeah, I guess. The runt said something smart for once. Not that we've done anything all that cooperative yet. That's all right. Just being together makes this place less frightening. I wonder if it's really that simple. Ah! It's a four-legged hell beast! Ah! Oops, my bad. Must have just been the poochie <laughs> shadow. Oh, you are so dead! I'm gonna kill you and leave you haunting the ship. <laughs> That's one reason why I like Raven. Ooh, four thousand gold. Look! Oh my days! There's a two globes. No wait, one globe. My bad. Oh my days, there's a book. There's a log. Shame there's no mini cactus. Year 232 of Asul. 13th day of Blue Air. The Asul period and the month of Blue Air are from a time before the Empire. So, over a thousand years ago. That long? Adrift five and forty days. Food and water used up. Men succumbing to thirst and starvation. I cannot give Terrible. in, though. I must see the clear Ciel crystal safely to Jormgen. This crystal holds the power to banish the monsters, and with it the town may yet be saved. I have stored the clear Good Ciel grief. crystal in my red chest, a gift from my dear Uafan. It won't be much longer until I am in her arms again, and then we will all be saved. But he wasn't able to return to his town. He passed away here. Really? What gave you that Come idea, on, Estelle. It was more than a thousand years ago. I've never heard of a town called Jormgen. If this record is really that old, there's no guarantee the town even exists anymore. Yeah, I guess nope. that's true. What about that clear seal crystal? I've never heard of it. The power to banish monsters. Huh. Sounds I wonder if it's something similar to a barrier. Do you think it might be here somewhere? Nope. A pirate's hut. Since, since it looks like a captain's hat, cows should have it. Hmm. Uh, could this be it? He's clutching something. It must have been very important to him. You think Dread. it's clear CL crystal? No, I think it's just power well, it shit. Matches up with what was written in that diary. Hey, old man, you go get it. Um, no, thank you. What is it with kids today always blurting things out like that? Here you go. Yeah, you have to hand it to do this. <laughs> Judith, darling, you've got nerves of steel. Do you think it might be cursed? Hey, this thing's stuck.
To have the leaf. opposite effect. What are you talking about? It's drawing the monsters to us. Here they come. Indubitably. Let's fight. Let's eliminate them. I'm still up for some more. Enough already. So I'm I want to go home. That's the logical. I'm not done yet. Oh, goofy. Jeez, poor Raven's getting too old for this. Should we give it back to him? I think that's what he wants! I... I want to deliver the clear seal crystal to Yormgen for him. You what? Good grief. Would it be possible to add that to the jobs being done by the guild? We can't, Estelle. As a rule, tiny guilds like ours don't take on a new job until they complete the one they're working on. Completing each job to the letter is the way new guilds have to build their reputation. Hmm? Is the guild going to be sent running here and there by another one of this girl's whims? Hey, you don't have to talk to her like that, you know. Rita, wait, Judith, I am sorry, yeah. but I want to help him yes. deliver this to the one who was waiting for him. I don't think anyone waits for a thousand years. <sighs> I'll find them. Rita, you all have your hands full looking for Pharaoh and escorting Estelle, right? Yeah. I'm free to do what yes. I like. Well, I'll come along too then. I don't mind going either. Hold it! You guys have your jobs to take care of. You know you're going to end up sticking with us anyway, so I don't see any problem yeah. with us helping you out a little on the side. Thank you. Ah, uh, how I envy the vigor of youth. Huh? Notice something? Looks like there's smoke outside. That might be Tokunaga's smoke signal. I wonder Tokunaga. if the Ceres Blasty is working again. Let's get back and check it out. Yeah. Come to mention it, we won't be able to get back the way we came. We'll just have to see if we can't find a better way out. Indubitably. Obtain the red box. It looks like the case holding the clear CL crystal just won't open. I it wish has we a could make sure it's actually in there, considering the sort of place we found it in. Couldn't you just bust it open with your magic? No, I can't. Right. If we damaged the contents, we wouldn't be able to make the delivery. No, I mean I already tried blowing it up. This little box yeah. is tougher than it looks. I... I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Forget it, Estelle. There's not much you can say to that. Uh, anyway, I suppose it makes sense to put something so important in an unbreakable box. Indubitably. Yeah, wasn't this locked earlier? I guess we can go back through here. Hmm, the curse was spoken, huh? Don't be ridiculous now, let's go. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I want to go up here. This is a chest. Holy symbol and... Let's work together. <sighs> Not too shabby, huh? I feel this pa nope. Thank you. Anything else of use? Literally nothing up here. Fuck's sake. Sealed bottle. Let's be on it. Anything here? No, jump. If we could just jump down from here, we'd reach the ship in no time. Yes, where did you get that? I thought something like this might happen, so I bought this up from inside the ship. I think I'm going to gag. All right, let's go back to the ship. Ah, good grief. If the shears 
last year's been fixed, that means we can say sayonara to the to this hellhole. I suppose. Yeah, bird. Everyone, the Sarah's blast is running again. So it seems. Of all the, why do I always get sucked into these messes? If it was anybody other you than me, both. you guys would have been left behind. Sorry about that. We'll never do it again. Prom. <sighs> I wonder what caused the Saras Blastia to break down. Who knows? It just came back to life suddenly. You really mm. think there's a curse then? Perhaps the captain nope. wanted to pass the clear seal crystal on to someone and reached out to us. No way. Mm, Dead people probably. can't want to do anything. Doors get stuck. The Saras Blastia stops working. Sounds like a curse to me. I said it can't nope. happen, so it just can't. What are you hitting me for? I'm just glad that no one was hurt. Well, the boss here has seen better days. Hmm. Hey, are we going to Nordopolica or not? Let's get this thing out of here. Right. I'm, here. I'm looking forward to finally getting there as well. Here, yeah, earn the anti nonsense title. Lovely job, there. Oh, there's, there's the place. So there's Nordopolica. Yep. yep. Otherwise known as the Colosseum City. Once popular among the nobility is a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contest. Australia for Nordopolica you. Nordopolica is currently run by the Guild Palestrale and has become a city of entertainment. Yeah. Polistrali's just as big a guild as the Don's Altosk, and... My, how pretty. So, party in the streets every day, huh? This is gonna be great! Since when are you on vacation? Oh yeah, right. A minion's work is never done. You're the nope. Don's messenger, so don't be rude to Velius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Pertia yeah. belongs to you, as promised. Thank you, Kaufman. Thanks. We'll take good care of her. So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west of Nordopolica. Yep. Aren't there some big mountains on the way there? That would make going by foot a problem. Wonder if we could get there by boat. I don't think that's possible. Nope. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there would be a place to moor a boat. Are you seriously no, going isn't. through with this? I told you yes. the desert is really dangerous. No more dangerous than anywhere else. I can't just let you else. go to a place like that all by your. I mean. Dropping anchor. Ah, uh, we yeah, really does it give it does give a damn. The Coliseum C, nor the Polica. Good work, thanks. No, no, you're Thank welcome. You. You're a huge help. Right, mutual back scratching and all that. Oh, ma Madam President, it's an honor to, to have you here. Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises the excavations. The, the yep. excavation of r ruins is wh what I live for. Who's that? That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That sounds familiar. They're the guild that's helping mm. the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I, I have yes. friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse me. He seems like a nice okay. person. 
Hey, you no, were talking not. earlier about a guild that's selling Hoplone Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those Ruin guys? Ruin's Gate is completely innocent. How can no, you be so not. sure? They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. Huh. Well, I'm off. Hmm. Take good care of the Fiertia. Say hi to Tokunaga we for will. me, too. Sure. Yeah. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Thanks! Nate just selling Blastia on the black market? That is so not good. Rita? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I got some work to do myself. <sighs> oh, yeah, your letter. It's rebellious, right? Yep. Hey, why don't we all go? Good idea. She probably knows something about Pharaoh. We'll just tag along with you and say hi to Bellius. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Of course, uh, I've only heard rumors, but, uh, hmm. What? Is something Ooh. wrong? Huh? What well, this? It's nothing. Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Polystrolic. Just what sort of person is this Bellius exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongress, so I don't really know the guilds in Nordopolica. The last thing we need is another Don on our hands. <laughs> you can say that again. One Don is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius mm -hmm. now. Right here. Rivens, dear, come to eat Batanigi to Banatagi. That's a type of fish, right? Is it any good? It's Ustaba as bad as brine soaked boot. You couldn't eat it if you tried, but now it's rather tasty. Yes, it the fish Usta taste bad, and now it's good. Aye, it was a wee gabby fishy. Would not reach ot otterlings, but it got it all nice and fat all of a sudden. It makes a right boo for meat now. This could be co caused by a local air imbalance as well. I wonder if there's an air canoe at the bottom of the ocean. Judy, not again. It's terrible, huh? Hi. Eh, what's all the hope up about? I don't know any details, simply that a blaster has been destroyed. Hear the thing like that? No one saw their face, but apparently it was someone wielding a spear. A spear? Is that, it's that dragon freak. Oh, yeah. He is always running off to one place or another, isn't that? Right, Judy. Judy? I think Judy's very much the same way, to be honest. Eh, yeah, I don't think that's true. Well, where, where were you? A very nice gentleman invited me to, out to tea. What? Inconvincible. Inconceivable. We don't need your commentary, your man. Seems like, like there's some commotion going on. on. Did something happen? Her blaster was destroyed by the same dragon right as last century. Oh, how frightening. Yeah, I'll bet you're scared stiff. It was, it was torn to pieces. Damn it, I swear I was go I'm going to make a permanent imprint of my fist into that dragon freak's face. Uh, right. Aren't we going to see Bellius? Oops, this way we, we will take us out of town. Right. No one would blame me, but I saw it. I did. I saw the monster with my own eyes, plain as day. Yes, it was, it was a, on a night like tonight with a foul wind blowing. Uh, came a lady. I wonder what the wandering chef is.
I'm gonna hang around around here for a bit. Hmm. Bingo. Come, please come again. Let's go in here. Oh, there you are. Guess you found me, you're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Keep up sandwich. I'll give you this so you can practice. Got to go to me again. Hmm. Well, that reminds me. I want to change that to that. Much better. Lord Bellius's private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild. Brave Vesperia. Never. I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nats. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I okay. will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? When's that? Why only on the night of a new moon? <laughs> I guess uh, that's just how she does things. Weird with the classes. Be weird sometimes. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the dawn stopped by. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the air crene myself. You and me both, well, sister. We have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. All right, let's get going, too. Raven left the party. Welcome, stay in the night. I think a, a, a companion of ours should have already arrived. Did a cynical older man come in? Oh, he's a friend of yours. Your rooms have already been paid for, so please make yourself to him. Shall we call that day? Good idea. You've earned a good night's sleep. What are you doing out here, you still the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. Fresh out here. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison. Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what well, that's life. You don't look like poison to me. Stop chatting her up, for fuck's sake. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? No, this is way to uh, hey, chat you up. just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's Brave Vesperia. The brightest star in the night sky. Indubitably. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia. 
and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. The end. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. You bastard. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. Most definitely. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. We can join the party. Hey, mister. Mister. Um, last time I checked, we as a last. Oh, mister. Why? Why does it not stretch my head? They tell him play here prank us and steal it. Maybe got too mad. And how dare that little girl call we a mister? You started all of this. Huh? What are you talking about? Both of you stop this nonsense. Making a scene like this is out of out in f front of everyone. Mind your own business. You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? Hey. Hey, if, if I'm wrong for doing this, you'll have my apologies later, but I think it's your, you two are in the wrong here. Damn it. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you so much. You were with Madam President Kilman. We are the Guild Boy Vespia. Come on, y'all. Y'all. You're like a walking billboard. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Your ragged wounds, Guido, right? You might want to work out a little before you go trying to stop any more fights. And you, oh yes, I'm sorry. Th thank you. Oh, um, th there's a favour I wanted to ask you. For far be it from us to ignore a request from wounds, Guido. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want us to ask? Want to ask? Oh, see, perhaps we could uh, discuss this somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. Most definitely. If we were the kids, we. Recognizes us, it will be help improve. It will help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs, and you end up neglecting, neglecting uh, all of them. Excuse my English. Uh, it's not my day. Our job for the moment. It is. Is it to look for fair and to spot us still? Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we? At least hear what he has to say first and decide whether or not to accept. Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just ha say no. We don't ha have to have the time to be getting wrapped up in most craziness. Let's go and stop by the Coliseum then. We can at least hear him out. Uh, where is that bozo? A town with a coliseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child? Hey! Well, yeah. what about all... <laughs> Never mind. I know where this is going. There he is. Ah, uh, you came my thanks to you. Now please come with me. Relax. Nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. 
That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. All right. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to take over Palastrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. Indeed. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see, we have been commissioned by Palastrale to investigate the r ruins at the Colosseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. If s someone else took control, it would be discourteous to the Intelikeia. Antelope, mm. what? Ah, oh, oh yes, M my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th mm. they are the ancient race who built this town and uh, allow the guilds to be here. An ancient, ancient race, huh? Like the Critia? Okay. So then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He he's the champion of the C Colosseum. Huh? What are you talking about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to to take on Palastrale directly. His hmm. consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be so as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. No. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Yes. Y yes. P please, for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Coliseum? Of c c course, and he's being b b backed by Le Leviathan's Claw. Le Le Leviathan's Claw plans to use the... C Coliseum for income to, to, to dominate the other guilds. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No hmm. way! Looks like we already know Hugh Moore and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Yeah. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um, but, Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? Yeah. What I really want to do? I, I beg your pardon. Is this a d difficult decision for you all? There mm. isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Yeah. Right. As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. No, we can't. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so... Mm. No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well, I suppose I can sit this one out. The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? Yeah. Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Yep. Sure. Beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, <sighs> you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. Oh, lovely jubbly. I can't take it anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve. <laughs> Can I eat a gel? No. <laughs> Does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, uh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. <laughs> <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Yeah. Ah, uh, what a tyrant. Right, time to cook up something. Uh, let's go for the kebab sandwich. Anyway, let's go and save because this is the end of the ep of this video. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, games for games, best make me keep it because I will be back for breakfast. Farewell.